Hello my beautiful Capricorns and welcome to your mid-July reading. Um, stick around to the very end. I'm going to be uh, pulling some cards around your money and career. Um, but if, of course we're going to have a look at what's going on in your love life um, to start with. From the pre-shuffle, I'm seeing that a lot of you could be dealing with someone who's uh, dealing with unfinished business, trying to tie up loose ends, trying to resolve or dissolve a marriage. Um, someone who's got their hands full with maybe family responsibilities. And from what I gather so far, Spirit is trying to say to you, stop giving and investing in this connection until such time as this person becomes unencumbered. You don't want to continue to, um, you know, catch feelings and, and give of yourself, um, when this person isn't fully opening up to you, they're not fully available and they're unable to offer you stability or a, a commitment. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm getting so far, but let's have a look and see what the cards say. Angels and Spirit, please show me what is going on for Capricorn in love in mid-July. Heading into, yeah, second half of July. See, emotional affair wanted to come out. It's saying um, it's, it's hard to resist an emotional connection with someone who's already involved. So exactly what I just finished telling you, this person needs to cut ties with their past before um, anything can happen between you and them. So that's what I'm seeing. Angels and Spirit, what is the message for Capricorns in love in the second half of July 2022, please? Yeah, so I'm getting the clear message that you should disengage um, because you've got a card here saying... Um, only play if you're willing to lose the game. Um, there's toxic behaviors, toxic dynamics here with abusive relationship. Um, again, the message is put a stop to it. You're deserving of real love. So again, do not be investing or giving yourself to a situation that's not um, supporting you, nourishing you, nurturing you, okay? Um, okay, so that's, they're the general messages that I'm receiving. Let's have a look at the simple love advice and then we'll see what this person would say to you if they could be 100% honest. There is a sense that this person does want to come clean and clear the air, uh, but we'll see. Angels and Spirit, please show me what is Capricorn's advice in love. Second half of July 2022. Capricorn's advice in love. Second half of July. What's Capricorn's advice in love? Second half of July 2022, please. You're being protected. You've got divine protection around this connection. So if it's not happening, if it's not coming together, there's a higher purpose for that, okay? You're being asked to take your power back and stop playing the role of victim, okay? <clears throat> you might feel very disempowered and unable to affect change, unable to influence this situation. You might feel like your hands are tied, but they're not. It's just the way that you're thinking. So um, you're strong enough to take responsibility for your own actions. You're strong enough to walk away from this situation if you're not getting respect, if you're not getting support. Um, let go of fear and trust that you'll be safe. A decision will need to be made, okay? Either your person needs to make a clear decision whether they're going to leave their current situation and move in a new direction with you or not. You may also need to make a decision. 
um, whether to kind of move in a new direction without this person and keep your options open or not. Um, something has to change because you've got the patterns card. So it seems like you are going round and round in circles, hoping for something different. Um, but spirit is saying, if you want change, you need to uh, do something differently before you can get a different result. Okay. Um, there's definitely an imbalance within this connection. I feel like you're giving to it and not getting anything back. You're overcompensating. Um, there's a lack of reciprocity here. I feel like you're dealing with someone who's very closed off. They find it very hard to express themselves. They're not open to commitment because they're still involved elsewhere. Okay. Um, Spirit is saying, even though this is frustrating, trust the process because you're exactly where you need to be. And whatever has brought you to this exact moment in your life has been a set of perfect events and influences. So whenever you're feeling anxious or worried that you, you know things should be different than what they are, I want you to use this affirmation. I am perfect who I am, where I am, experiencing exactly what is at hand. So it could be that you're, you've been involved with this person for a long time and you're waiting for them to offer you a deeper level, level of commitment. That will be for some of you. But your person is unable to give that to you because maybe kids are taking precedence. I'm definitely getting family responsibilities tying this person down. But if you're in a new connection um, and you're waiting for this person to strengthen the bond and make things more solid, I definitely feel that they need to end something, finalize a process, whether that's divorce or a property settlement, before this could ever have a chance at working out. Okay, so let's get some further advice from this little deck here. Angels and Spirit, please show me what is the advice for Capricorn in love? What's the advice for Capricorn in love, please? Yeah, forget what they say. What matters is what they do. Um, it's easy to tell someone what they want to hear, right? So you have to judge someone's intentions um, by their behavior. They can say all of the I love yous that they want, but if they never put it into practice, it means nothing. The greater the actions, the louder the words. Be observant. Is the message for Capricorn in love? What's the message for Capricorn in love, please, in second half of July 2022? You've got don't ignore the red flags. Overlooking bad behavior because you really want things to work out with this person will cost you later. So take off the blinders and deal with it head on. And be like the Queen of Swords, set and maintain strong boundaries, healthy boundaries. Communicate your standards and boundaries in a respectful way. Equip this person with the necessary tools and knowledge to successfully pursue you. So don't just let them come in um, when it pleases them or when they're feeling horny. If this person isn't offering you something solid, then you can do better, right? Okay, let's see one more. Keep your emotions in check. Um, so try not to blow up if something doesn't go your way. You know, if you're hurt or angry, spirit is saying just stay calm and be rational. Talk over whatever's bothering you and focus on solving the problem in a logical manner. So definitely Queen of Swords energy coming through. Um, don't get sucked into the gossip mill. Leave the gossip in the past and move on to more meaningful conversations. Don't allow gossip to leave doubt in you or your partner and cause disruption. So I definitely feel there's interfering people that may not support this connection. Um, and again, a decision needs to be made here. Um, as I said before, with the 50-50 card, either your person needs to make a final decision about whether they're going to close the door on a past relationship and pursue something with you or not. And you have to make a decision. 
whether you know this is working for you is this arrangement working for you is it enough are you being supported here is this what you really want a choice has to be made in order to move forward and though it can be confusing deep down you already know the answer let go of fear and decide okay so um, let's have a look at your career cards I'm going to pull a business card first but this could also be useful for those of you who aren't um, you know you're not involved in your own business undertaking it could apply to someone who is um, just working normally all right angels and spirit please show me what is Capricorn's message money message second half of July 2022 what is Capricorn's money message second half of July deck all right we have cost cutting do not save what is left after spending instead spend what is left after saving okay you know everything is so expensive at the moment it cost me so much money to fill up my car the other day and in Sydney it's something like seven dollars for a lettuce crazy prices due to you know natural disasters flooding COVID all sorts of um, you know supply chain issues so it makes sense that business needs businesses and people generally need to think about saving money so increase profit margins by cutting costs while maintaining quality identify essential processes and negotiate the best prices for materials facilities and labor reduce waste Reuse, reinvest in your business, set clear financial goals, use word of mouth advertising instead of, you know, um, expensive advertising, right? Invest in the skills of your employees and not in their number. Okay, so which operational expenses can you cut? Which prices can you renegotiate or can you find new suppliers? Are you making the most of your existing resources? How can you minimize advertising costs, marketing costs? Can you save money via remote work, relocating or outsourcing? Okay, now let's have a look at um, another general message for my cappies in terms of money. Angels and spirit, please show me what is the message for Capricorn in terms of money, in terms of work, second half of July, 2022. Yeah, eight of pentacles. If you stay dedicated, if you um, do your due diligence, your homework, your research, your hard work will be paying off, okay? Um, it's the perfect time to learn all that you can by returning to school or taking a seminar or class or conducting research. So just do your best work and the law of attraction will bring you the prosperity and career advancement that you're hoping for. And Capricorn, you are the... Um, the ambitious ones of the zodiac right so i have faith in you you're getting to where you want to be just through sheer hard work and dedication so all right here we go okay we've got the death card so um that's interesting. It can mean that something's coming to an end to make way for a new beginning in your career, or you need to change the way you do things. Obviously the death card is all about transformation. So don't resist change, embrace it. Okay. Eight of swords, you're feeling restricted in some way. Okay. Um, but this card is saying it's easy to convince yourself that you're trapped when you're really not. You know, the eight of swords is a very, um, self-inflicted kind of prison mental prison so you just need to trust that spirit will lift you to new heights and give you greater self-confidence 
if you affirm your freedom, we always have freedom to choose, to change what's no longer work, working for us, right? Four of Swords, um, this is just saying, take some rest and heal um, and thoroughly think things through before making a decision. Uh, continuing to overanalyze isn't going to get you any closer to a resolution, but meditation and prayer will bring the answers you seek. So try and get some time away, remove yourself from all distractions and noise um, so that you can um, get clear and make good money decisions. So let me know Capricorn if this has resonated with you. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.